How's it going everybody on a Friday night? I want to welcome you back to Bronco Juggalo Talks Movies. Today I am doing the 2003 film Wrong Turn. This film was directed by Rob Schmidt. It stars Eliza Dushlev, I think, as Jesse and Desmond Harrington as Chris. We got a really simple plot here, guys. This guy, Chris, he's driving along and he gets into an accident with a group of campers. And they start trying to find their way through the woods to get some help and they start getting picked off one by one by a group of psychotic, cannibalistic, deformed hillbillies. All in all, guys, I really found Wrong Turn to be pretty well entertaining. Uh, I do have some pros and cons. I really, as I was doing a little bit of research on this film, I really didn't find out a lot, like, of extras about it. There wasn't really a lot of, you know, there was really no controversies or no interesting facts really to come up for this movie. But, so I'm just going to get into pros and cons real quick. Uh, on the pros side, I actually have quite a few pros here. Number one is this movie was shot very well. And there is a particular shot that I really like. It is a shot of the hillbillies are in their cabin and they are chopping up one of the campers. It zooms in on the door that two of the campers are hiding behind. And... It goes into the keyhole, through the keyhole, and you can see the eyeball of one of the campers as they're watching what is happening. And I just thought that was a really cool shot. It was really well done, and I really enjoyed that. I think overall this movie was shot very well. Uh, the cinematography in it is great. The camera work is pretty good. There was a couple spots where it was shaky, but I think it was shaky on purpose, so that's not too big of a deal. Another pro I have for this film is there is a sequence where they are trying to escape these hillbillies. They were up in a tower, a fire tower, you know, used by fire forest rangers to keep an eye on the forest to make sure there's no fires or anything. It's extremely high up. And they were up there trying to hide, and they get found out, and the hillbillies are trying to burn them out. So they have to jump, and they jump into the trees. And as they're in the trees, one of the hillbillies climbs up with them. I guess he's known as Three Fingers. Even though it doesn't call him that in the movie, but I, as I was reading about the film as well, it come, I found out that the guy is known as Three Fingers. So he is up there in the tree with them, and basically a chase ensues among the big branches of these trees. And I thought that was very cool and very original. I hadn't really seen anything like that in a horror film before. Uh, it was very different. It, a brand new take on the scare. And it really added a, an element of fear to the movie. Because not only did you have to fear the psychopath three fingers, but you had to fear falling as well. So it was, it, it was a tense scene, and it was really well done, and I really enjoyed it. And that brings me to my last real big pro for this. And that pro is the kills and the gore. All of the kills that are done on screen are very well done. And the gore is very well done. Uh, I really enjoy the gore. It is not so over the top to be disturbing to the viewer. Unless you're just very sensitive to those things. Such as like Terrifier. But it is not as tame as say Friday the 13th Part 7. Uh, there was no cutaways. They really showed everything. And I think it was done very well and I really enjoyed it. I'm going to get on to some cons here guys. Uh, I really only have two real big cons for this film. The first con is that the majority of this film is done during the day. And I think that actually decreases the scare value. Uh, it's very well lit most of the time because the sun is up. And I don't think it's as horrific as it could have been if it would have been a little bit darker. So that did take away from the experience for me a little bit. But not so much that it's a big problem. Uh, the only other con that I really do have with this movie is the story, honestly. This is a story that has just been 
pretty much done to death. There's really nothing original about this story. A group of teenagers or young adults on a back road, something happens with their vehicle and they are, you know, hunted down by a group of cannibalistic hillbillies. Um, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Hills Have Eyes, the list goes on. This has been done so many times. And this, aside from those couple interesting things that I enjoyed, like the tree scenario um, and the way some of the shots were done, it really added nothing to that particular genre of films or that particular set of films. It didn't really bring anything new to that. So I really felt that it kind of suffered in that respect. It is, it's just a story that's been done. We've seen it. So your investment in the film to me was not as big as it might have been if it would have been completely different. But what can you do? I guess there's only so many stories to tell, right? So overall though, guys, I enjoyed the movie. It was pretty well done. I liked it. I've never actually seen this movie all the way before. I started it and never finished it years and years ago. And I just never actually watched this movie. So I picked up the entire series because one of my subscribers asked me to do a review on it. I'm going to review the entire series. But I am starting with the first one, which is logical. So, JB, this review is for you, as are all the rest coming forward in this series. I don't know if I will get to them all right in a row, because I have a lot of other stuff to do too, but I will get them all done eventually. So, for now, though, I hope you're happy with my review of Wrong Turn, Part 1. Overall, a really enjoyable movie. I'm going to give you guys my favorite kill. While they are in the trees, we have our final girl, Jessie, our final guy, Chris, and our last kill of that particular group, Carly. And all the girls in this are pretty good looking. The guys, I will say this, the acting on a couple of the guy characters was not so great. Uh, Carly's fiance, I can't even remember his name right now, his acting was not so good, so it wasn't that big of a deal when they killed him off. But... My favorite kill is the Carly kill. They're in the trees, and Jesse and Chris are on one side, and Carly's about to cross, and all of a sudden they see Three Fingers behind her with an axe. And they try to warn her, but Three Fingers swings the axe so fast and so hard, it catches her like this, right here in the mouth. And it goes all the way through, sticks in the tree, and then you see her entire body fall down beneath. And everything from the top jaw up is just sitting there on top of the axe. She was literally decapitated from the top of the mouth down. And I thought it was amazing looking. I thought it was a great kill. I absolutely loved it. It was so awesome. And, like I said, overall, I really enjoyed this film. I'm kind of regretting now that it took me this long to see it. I also did not know that there was this many films in this franchise. I knew that there was at least the first one, and I heard there was a couple more, but I didn't realize there were six. So, I have all six of them. I picked it up at Walmart for $12.95. So, if you haven't seen these, definitely go out and get this. Even if the rest of them are crap. $12.95, you get six movies. That's not a bad price. So, go check it out, guys. If you want to see a pretty decent horror film, check out Wrong Turn if you haven't already. And I wanted to give a quick apology to all of my subscribers that were looking forward to my Friday the 13th Part 9 review where we are covering Jason Goes to Hell, The Final Friday. 
Uh, we had some technical difficulties. We actually filmed the entire thing. Uh, Bill and I, we spent a couple hours uh, filming that and doing everything we like to do, you know, giving you guys the stuff that we think is pretty funny or pretty good. And it turns out that our audio tracks were all corrupted and not a single track of audio got there. So all you see in the whole video is... I tried to save them, I tried to recover, but I just couldn't do it. And we were exhausted by the time we were done with this. And then we had to move some furniture, so we were really tired and we just did not want to do it over again that night. Plus, we didn't want to give you guys a forced review. We've had to do that a couple times because of some technical difficulties. So we wanted to give it a few more days, let it settle again, go back, rewatch the film again, and look at it again with some fresh eyes, and come back and give you another review. Which we're going to do this upcoming Wednesday. So I know that puts us a week behind from where we were, and I really apologize for that. But we will get to it, I promise. And then we will have Jason X right behind that. Freddy vs. Jason, the remake, Never Hike Alone, and the ranking video. So we have all those to look forward to. Plus, you know, I'll be throwing in intermediate videos in between there. So, this has been Bronco Juggalo, guys, saying good night. Have some drinks with me. I mean, for me. I mean, mmm, Captain and Coke is good. Anyways, guys, this is Bronco Juggalo saying peace. I am what I am and that's all that I am Why? I am what I am, I'm a hooligan I am what I am and that's all that I am Why? I am what I am, I'm a hooligan, hooligan. I am what I am and that's all that I am